Thunderdome boxing talk. All right. Uh, seems as though Freddie Roach is getting a little more realistic on Manny Pacquiao's expectations for this fight. Uh, we've heard both camps, you know, referring to a knockout or you know punching power, and he does talk about punching power here. Um, however, he understands that the chances of a knockout are very slim. Um, you know, I think everyone understands that, you know, unless a, a great punch lands, you know, this is probably going to a decision. Uh, it's going to be hard, you know, and so if even if e either guy, if they want to survive, they it's going to be hard to get them out of there. Um, it's, it's just hard to even knock out any pro that doesn't want to be knocked out, let alone a top level fighter that doesn't want to be knocked out. So even if someone got hurt, you know, they, they might be able to stretch it a few rounds and just survive. Uh, so, uh, it really have to be a, just a good punch, um, that gets in there that one of them doesn't see that would give them a knockout win. You know, other than that, it, it's going to a decision, you know, that, that's the, the highest and most likely outcome. Uh, anything can happen, of course, but the most likely outcome is a decision. And it seems, uh, Freddie Roach is kind of understanding that too. I think he always has, you know, it's just kind of. Hyping the fight, you know, building your fighter's ego and all that. Uh, but he has some quotes here, you know. And plus, you know, he also had a big paragraph and a couple quotes here uh, about, you know, Floyd. He says, you know, uh, the exact quote here is, you know, um, I don't believe that Floyd ever wanted this fight. He was forced to take it by the public, Manny Pacquiao, the media. I, Manny Pacquiao comes from the other quote. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if Floyd pulled out now. Now, first off, nope, no one's pulling out of this fight. That's not going to happen. Um, even if someone was injured, they'd have to fight. Unless it's like a, you know, a, a good injury that's s pretty severe that would, you know, drop them down to, you know, 80-80% or lower of themselves. Because everyone fights with injuries. Uh, it's rare someone goes into a fight, you know, a champion goes into a fight with absolutely nothing wrong with them. There's always something. It's usually just minor things, though, whether it's rib pain or, you know, a, a pulled leg muscle that's, you know, not, not all that bad. Just something. Hurt hands, you know, um, a blister on your foot, something like that. You know, typical, typical injuries that guys have to fight through constantly, and they have fought through much worse. I'm not talking about these two guys, but just fighters throughout history, much, much worse. They would have to have, Manny and Floyd, they would have to have, you know, un, undeniable, you know, proof. Um, multiple doctors saying, uh, you know, the injury is real, it's severe, it's hampering them big time to get out of this fight. And that would just postpone it. You know, they would try maybe, if someone really wanted out of it, the worst they could do is you know, get an injury, postpone it, and then, you know, the injury is lagging and dragging on. Then they go, the other guy finds another opponent, and then they're out of it. But that shit ain't gonna happen, right? Uh, whether Floyd wanted it or not, doesn't matter. He, he could never pull out. If Manny all of a sudden didn't want it, he couldn't pull out either. Uh, it would have to be so severe. Too much money's involved. Too much time. Just too much money, period. Okay, That's what it boils down to. Too much money is invested in this fight already for anyone to, to get away um, without fighting, you know? So it's going to happen. Um, that's not a... I'm not trying to say it's not... What he, what Roach is basically saying there is, just if Floyd, you know, never wanted the fight, um, and I think we all know that that's the truth, you know, um, you know, you can go back to you know, Espinosa, you know, Floyd's boss, and yes, that that's Floyd, he Floyd has a boss, all right, Espinosa. If I give you a contract and I say you're gonna do this for me, and if you don't, I'll fucking sue you. I'm your boss, okay. Um, and that's the relationship Espinosa has with Floyd. Um, you know, there's the, he gave quotes to Dan Raphael, uh, and the quotes are real, or otherwise Raphael would have, or you know, Espinosa would have said, "I never said that shit." And it's on ESPN, the the, the dot com. Uh, it's on the website. You know, they have the whole entire like uh, Mayweather Pacquiao 
negotiations timeline. Uh, if you wanted to see it, I'd imagine you would just Google that, you know, uh, the negotiations timeline. And it has it all right there. And as, there was a quote out there, you know, that Floyd never did anything to make the fight. He kind of just sat there and that was it. You know, if the fight got made, it got made. If it didn't, it didn't. Um, I don't think he had a choice. I, I don't know. Did he want it? He could have. Uh, but he didn't want it so bad that he was willing to, like, do anything to get the fight done. You know, like, he wouldn't have done a 50-50. You know, if he was really looking for a legacy victory or, you know, just and if it was such an easy fight, uh, you know, what's wrong with both guys getting $120 million? I mean, does it matter how much the other guy's getting? Honestly, no, not if you're still getting what you think you're worth. And neither fighter is even worth $100 million. They're just not. You know, if we're willing to pay it, then, of course, they, they, they sh the fighter should get it more, more than anybody else involved. So I guess, you know, they are technically worth it, but they're charging us 100 bucks, and no one wants to pay that. That's the thing. Like, it, if the fights were... We bitch about $75 prices, but we're just so big, you know, in, in the boxing, we just have to pay it and watch it, so it doesn't... It's hard to say that's what they're worth, because if the fight was even 50 bucks, you know, like it used to be, um, we wouldn't have a problem with that either. We'd just say, hey, like, that's too much, all right? Um, they're worth it. No, don't get me wrong. They're worth big, big money, uh, and any money that we give, they should get the lion's share, or basically all of it. Um, other people should just get enough to, you know, help them survive, <laughs> honestly, because they don't do anything that someone at a normal job doesn't do. The fighters are the only ones doing something, you know, out of the ordinary. Um, but the, he didn't chase the fight, you know, that, that that's out there. We know that. Um, if he really wanted this fight, he wouldn't have been trying to sell the Kodo fight to Showtime or a CBS, and they didn't want it. All right, um, that fight could have been made easily if if CBS wanted that fight, but they didn't. All right, um, you know there was too much money to be made here. Uh, the money they lost would be recouped. They'd make a huge profit, and you know they looked at it as no way. You know this fight is happening, and we heard that you know we don't know exactly what Floyd's contract is, but we heard on the last two fights that CBS had some kind of little uh, options in there where they had to approve um, the guy he was picking for that the last two fights. Um, now, if everything was fine and he was still, you know, making, you know, if he was picking decent opponents and they were making, you know, the, the one million buys uh, every fight and plus more on other fights, I think they would have let him not uh, fight Manny Pacquiao and they wouldn't have cared. Uh, but since, you know, they wouldn't even release the numbers on the Maidana, so that kind of tells you they were low, because Espinosa said, we're only releasing the numbers if they're high. That's his way of saying, we're not expecting big numbers, so we're not going to show them. You know? And like I said before, don't tell me it sold this many or this many, because get me a Showtime uh, or CBS document that says that's what the official numbers were, because they were never released. Um, so we don't know. They could have been 400,000. They could have been um, 900,000. We don't know. Um, but we know it lost CBS money. We do know that. So, you know, he, he kind of, I don't want to say like he was, you know, forced on some unrealistic level to get in the ring for this fight. But they weren't going to take any other fight. You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of hard to explain. It's not like they were like, Yo, Floyd, you're, you're taking it or we're taking all your money and suing you and blah, 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 blah. Well, that, that could have happened, honestly. But it, it was more just like, look, there's too much money to be made here. This is the fight you're taking. You know, deal with it. Beat him. Okay. So he had to take it. And like uh, Roach said, this is the first time, you know, since he's been uh, on this contract. And a little, even a little before that, you know, this is the first time that he hasn't been able to handpick an opponent. All right, he didn't want this fight. This is the first time he wasn't able to handpick an opponent. You know, uh, and that's basically what he's saying here. Uh, I don't think, you know, Roach knows as well as anybody um, if he was forced into the fight, and I don't think that is. 
you know, a shit talking uh, scam. Like he says, Floyd can act like he tried to stall this fight out to build revenue all he wants, but we all know that's a lie. He was forced into the fight. And he says that in the other article that's on Boxing Scene. Um, so, you know, it, it is what it is, man. You know, this wasn't the fight he was looking forward to. You got to realize, Floyd, both guys have slipped and aged, whatever. Floyd, I don't think you'll find anybody that will say Manny has slipped more than Floyd. Maybe 10%, because they're just, you know, whatever. But I, I think the major consensus would agree that Floyd has slipped more. Um, I don't think, you know, if he wants to stay undefeated, it, it I think he would have much rather had an easier opponent. Um, without a doubt, you know, like a, a Kodo, I think Kodo would have been in a, a, a much easier fight. I think he would have owned Kodo in a rematch. I don't care if Kodo was with Roach or not. I just don't. Um, Mayweather would have performed much better in the, in the second fight, you know. And I don't think Kodo is, you know, as good as people think he is right now, you know. I don't. Uh, Martinez win doesn't hold all that much weight with me. Because, you know, he's he was ready to go. You know, if any decent fighter stepped in the ring with him, they were they were gonna get him. You know, he was he was he had so many injuries, not just the knee. Uh he was he was so far on the downside. Uh he, he was going, man. And it, it happens. It happens, you know. He was an old guy. Not old old man, but you know, he was a forty plus dude. It, it, it happened, you know. So that fight doesn't hold much weight with me. And if you go back to before that, Cotto, Cotto's resume was, you know, just terrible. You know, he was he got beat by Floyd, got beat worse by Austin Trell. I mean, uh, Delvin Rodriguez doesn't mean anything, you know, in, a, in an older guy who was ready and ripe for the taking. Doesn't hold much weight with me either, you know. So just because he looked like his old self does not mean he was his old self all right um that i think that's why that's why floyd wanted that fight he knew he could he'd get kodo so you know i think he would have much rather had a fight like that um because you know to, when you're getting a little older you don't you're not as interested in the sport which we know he's not he said you're not as physically fit as you used to be you know you're not as agile and your reflexes are not as sharp uh, there's nothing you can do about that they're going to deteriorate you know and so it's a little hard you would much you know you, you wouldn't want that tough of an opponent you would want an opponent that the typical guy you know like a victor ortiz or something that people would get behind root for him hope he can beat you think he might have a chance but he can't um Something like that. You know, the guys he was kind of going after. You know, Maidana's and, you know, Guerrero's and Canelo's and Kodo's at that time even. It, it, it's just, it is what it is. You know, there's no, it, it is what it is, man. You know, so, Roach ain't stepping too far off the, off the truth there at all. But he also says, you know, we have a great idea of when and where we are going to attack Mayweather. I think they do, too. Um, from what I saw, you know, when Roach was getting into certain positions, Pacquiao was letting punches go, uh, and then Roach would get out of it. So he was kind of gave a little bit away. That, and he said also, he said they're going to be attacking from the body and ahead. They're going to be looking to hit that body, maybe get an opening and try to throw a, a quick two punches, three punches upstairs and try to catch him. Uh, with something. A lot of straight punches. You're going to see tons of straight punches that could prevent anything from coming in. You know, keep his head down, chin down, guard up, throw them punches, boom, boom, straight lines. You know, uh, you don't want to loop your punches with Floyd at all because if he throws a straight and you're throwing a loop, guess what? You know, uh, he also says this fight was five years in the making. Promoters should realize that these type of fights are what's best for boxing and we should have more fights like this. I'm not surprised by the hype surrounding the fight. Uh, Manny has really raised the bar in his training camp. He's a different Manny Pacquiao than I have seen him going into previous training camps. He's punching so much harder in training for this camp. Uh, you know, he might be punching harder. You know, we know they're back to the heavy bag. He probably is punching a little harder. Um, you know, power is the last thing to go in a fighter. 
I wouldn't think <laughs> he's not some different Manny Pacquiao that's you know better than ever. Uh, they're always going to say that. That's not the truth. But you know he might be more focused in this fight. He might train harder, uh, which could step him up from you know his last couple performances. And that's about it. You know, you can't go back too far. He's, you can't really go back more than two or two, three fights with these guys. That's the most. And three fights is maybe reaching. You know, he says, ah, man, he's better than ever. His attitude is different. And I've never seen him work this hard. His speed is faster. His punches are harder. I'm really happy where he's at. His legs look great. He's on his toes all the time. Well, if he wants to win, he's going to have to be on his toes all the time. Um, he can't sit there and stay stationary and try and box with Floyd. Alright. Um... Sorry about that. Um, you know, both uh, Mayweather, first of all, he's like, uh, Mayweather, Mayweather's a good counterpuncher, but Manny has faster hands and his combinations are better than Floyd's. Um, he does have faster hands. Uh, we would expect he's had faster hands the last couple of fights, so he still should. His combinations are better than Floyd's, that's a given. Um,. Both fighters have great experience, so he doesn't think that'll be a factor um, in the fight, uh, except they both have different styles. Floyd's a counterpuncher, and Manny must be the one to enforce the fight. That's true. You know, there's Ma Floyd is not coming at Manny. He's not. There's, just don't even think it. You know, he's going to be the same typical Floyd, boxing, playing it safe so he doesn't get caught by some crazy shit, and trying to counter it. <clears throat> and pot shot. That's that's what the fight's gonna be. If you think it's gonna be anything different, then oh, yeah. shit, man, my bad. Then you, it's like, yeah, I don't know, man. You're maybe getting brainwashed by the headlines and shit like that, because you know it happens. It happens leading up to a fight. You always read the headlines and you think something else might happen, and then you watch the fight and you're like, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen, really. Till I read all them damn headlines, you know. Um, says, I believe that Manny being a southpaw will be a factor in this fight. Of course, Manny showed me tape of Floyd fighting a southpaw and told me that is exactly what we are going to do in the fight. I would imagine it was Zab Judah, uh, Chop Chop Corley, maybe some of the, you know, some of the parts of the Ortiz fight, but exactly what we're going to do to him, I would imagine that's the Corley fight. Um, the beginning of the Corley fight. You know, if Corley could have really stuck to his game plan and had what it took, um, he was fucking nailing Floyd in that fight. And he was doing good in some of them some of them early rounds. I would think that's the fight. Maybe a little bit of the Judah fight also. Um you know, not not so much to Guerrero not Guerrero really at all. Um, totally different. They're southpaws but totally different styles of southpaws, you know. Uh, same with Ortiz, really, but, you know, there's a couple things you can take from, from that fight as well. Um, he says, I can tell how much this fight means to Manny because he, he has he's watched tape on Floyd. Manny has never watched tape on any fighter before. Um, well, that's, you know, because this is, uh, from what I also heard, though, I think he watched tape on De La Hoya, if I'm correct. So, he, I, I believe he has watched tape on other fighters uh but you know the only the real important ones i would um, i guess is what he's saying which might be true might not be um but i think his focus is hard hard on this fight you know he's making sure every filipino can see this fight and listen to it um you wouldn't be trying to do that if you thought you were gonna get your ass beat and knocked out or something you know um, you definitely wouldn't be trying to do that. You try to not even talk about the fight and, you know, let it pass by, hopefully, and not many people would hear about it. I guess that would be hard for any Pacquiao fight in the Philippines, though, because they know they're never going to miss a fight of his. Uh, but, you know, hey, he seems fairly confident. Um, uh, since Manny moved up to 47, he hasn't knocked many guys out. Um... I don't think he's knocked anyone out uh, at 147. 
I don't think so, man. He hasn't knocked many guys out, so getting the knockout in this fight uh, isn't a concern for me. If Manny fights at 140, then he does knock guys out. But at this weight, he's fighting guys who are bigger than him. Um, and that's very true. I made a whole video about that. Um, that that's, you know, bigger guys with fucking iron chins, honestly, at Walter Wade. If you look at the guys he fought, they've basically, you could say they nev they've they never been knocked out in their prime and, and shit like that. You know, they're very solid, solid chin guys. Um, they have had knockouts. I'm not saying, I'm not, don't say, oh, I caught you in a lot. They, some, a couple of them were knocked out. You know, Margarito took a, a vicious knockout to Shane Mosley and shit like that. But, um, he's like, Floyd may be bigger, may be a bigger guy, um, uh, but we still will win this fight. They always fight bigger guys. What he's basically saying is, we're, we're not going to knock Floyd out. Or there's a chance, you know, a big chance we might not knock him out. You know, Floyd may be a bigger guy. We It's hard for us to knock out bigger guys. What he just said before that. But we will still win the fight. You know, uh, this fight is much bigger than when Manny fought De La Hoya. Manny is a, a different person going into this fight. He hit me so hard the other day that I believe it's the hardest I've ever been hit by a fighter who I'm training. That's bullshit. Uh, because Manny just can't hit as hard as a light heavyweight or a middleweight. Um, but, you know, he's saying he got hit hard. That's why it's all. Manny is cracking, you know, and he is. I mean, you can see just from, you know, the, 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 the heavy bag footage we got, even early in training camp, he was ripping into them bags. Um, so he definitely still got power and speed. Uh, there was a 15 second clip, you know, and he only threw punches for like 13 seconds and he landed something. He, he threw, like, they were all hard knockout punches, not one pitter-patter. And there was something like 30, 40 punches thrown. Like, it was crazy. Um, the, the dude can throw, you know, four punches in a second. Um, that That's a lot to try and defend against. Uh, I don't believe that Floyd ever wanted this fight. He was forced to take it. Blah, blah, blah. Wouldn't surprise me if he pulled out. Um, that's 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 it. And you know that's not gonna happen. But they understand that. You know I think they're just saying that they're more confident in this fight, and they feel you know they have less to lose. Um, people can say, you know, everything is riding on this fight with Manny, but when you're the underdog, and the, a lot of people, probably the majority of people, I, it's weird. When I see polls, uh, no matter what side I go to, everyone's picking Manny, but then you hear, like, uh, all the interviews you see, um, they're saying Floyd. You know, some are saying Manny, too, don't get me wrong, but you'll probably, the majority is saying Floyd. Uh, now it's kind of, they're all just saying 50. Well, they used to say Floyd. Now most of them are just saying 50, 50. Which is weird, you know, because a lot of people basically that means you're flip flopped because you said, you know, he'd get owned or washed, and then six months later you're saying 50 50. That don't make sense, but what, whatever, you know, because from the what's six months gonna do, you know, I don't know, uh, but or whatever, you know, they're saying 50 50 now. But the polls I see, I saw more, they most all of them, I think, that I have saw said, uh, Manny, but I think they're just basically trying to say they wanted this fight more. You know, they have less to lose. They're more confident. Uh, they're not as, you know, worrisome as Floyd because, you know, Floyd's everything is riding on this fight. Um, if he lost, you know, that would, so many people would just say, boom, that's, uh, I, that's everything I told you. Uh, you know, everything we've been saying is true. They'd go back and pick his uh, resume and his record apart. And they just say, you know, as soon as he fought uh, his first good opponent, he got beat. You know, even though he'd lost to Castillo. But, you know, whatever. Uh, as now, you know, the fighter he is now. As soon as he fought his first good opponent, he got beat. And blah, blah, blah. He was never as good. He was a hype job. And all that shit would be said. Uh, and Floyd knows this. He has to know this. Because um, he seems to be, you know, a big social media head. Whether he can read the comments or whatever, I don't know. And I'm not trying to be ignorant. I'm just saying if that's what we hear and from what we've seen is the truth. I don't know. I swear he must have someone reading him this shit or something. Or at least giving him, you know, telling him what's what's going on. Because he seems to know it all. Um, so, I, I don't know. I don't know, he seems to, you know, be, he's very into social media, obviously, from what we can tell, 
Uh, but maybe that's more like just pictures, though, you know. So, I don't know. But yeah, I think someone has to be telling him how important this fight is. Or somehow he knows whether he wants to admit it or not. Um, because if he doesn't, someone sure as hell needs to tell him, uh, you know, ev everything you did is riding on this fight. I mean, it's even been said on ESPN and stuff, so if he just watched it, he would, like, hear that. <clears throat> he probably wouldn't agree with it, you know, but he would have heard it. Um, it's just, you know, it's, it's mo more important, you know, because if you're the underdog, you're going into the fight, you're so kind of many supposed to lose, you know. When you look at the the fight and, and just the odds, the odds might change, you know, but it seems as though, you know, Man Manny's supposed to lose. Uh, Manny's also supposed to beat Floyd um, for, you know, justice of boxing or whatever you want to call it, um, <clears throat> the way some people are looking at it. But in reality, you know, Floyd is supposed to win, go on, hit his record, blah, 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 retire undefeated. Um, that's the goal there. You know, and a lot of people were buying into that. And you know, so that's kind of what's supposed to happen. You know, if, May if Mayweather beats him, Manny will just, you know, go graciously. Yeah, he's a great fighter, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the reason or whatever. And it'll be fine. Then he'll go fight. Maybe, you know, one more fight. Go out with a W. Retire or whatever, you know. And that, that'll be that. Uh, but if Floyd loses, like, and, and Manny will still have all the love and fanfare. But if Floyd loses, it'll, it, 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 it could really screw up his, uh, everything, you know, even if he tries to be humble now, so, you know, and then after the fight tries to, you know, be a different person and a grown-up, um, and stay humble, I think he's talked too much shit and just made too many people want to see him lose, and the moment it happens, they're not gonna let it slide, they're not gonna be like, oh, he's humble now, I, I respect him, you know, you'll get that from the diehards, some of them anyway, but then the others and a lot of casuals are going to be like, ah, I told you, and rip into him. You know, similar to how Broner, when he got dusted by Maidana, except it would probably be just as bad, honestly. Maybe even worse since it's a much bigger known fight. Um, but something like that, you know, like the Broner Maidana, uh, Broner's loss. You know, people are waiting for that moment uh, for Floyd. And he, he, he sure doesn't want that. Uh, he sure as hell doesn't want that. So you, you can expect a careful Floyd. All right. That's why you don't expect him to slug it out because he ain't going to take that risk. No way in hell uh, is he going to take that risk and give Manny the opportunities he needs. Just hand him the opportunities and say, take advantage of it. Not going to happen. He's going to go out there, be extremely careful, try to pot shot, counter his way to a decision. Um... And Manny has to force that fight and try to take that decision away from him. Uh, because, you know, it's going to be similar. I believe it's going to be similar to, you know, the decisions we've seen lately. Manny has to really dominate rounds to get him. You know, even Keith Thurman said, I think it was Keith Thurman, said uh, all, the close rounds are going to Floyd. You know, so Manny can't leave many close rounds if he wants that round on a judge's scorecard. You know, and unofficial means shit. All right, so whether, you know, a Harold Letterman or someone gives that card to that, that round to Manny, that does not mean the judges are. All right, if we at home give it to him, that does not mean the judges are. Um, it's just the way it is, man. You know, it's, it's politics and boxing, and this is a Mayweather promotions fight. Don't, don't forget that. Uh, and that's not an excuse at all, because I'm, I'm saying Manny knows what he has to do. Uh, he can't just be happy with barely winning a round. Uh, if he barely wins it, it's not a one. It's not a one round. You know, he didn't win that round then. If it's barely won, you know, he has to get clear, uh, clear cut. You know, clear cut wins in the rounds if he wants them. Uh, and that's just the way it is, man. So let me know what you think of uh, Freddie Roach's comments or anything else. Um, you know, Thunderdome Boxing Talks, stay safe, peace.